Hey guys, what is up? This is Skyby iPod, and today I'm going to be showing you how to play computer games on your phone, but in specific, I'm going to show you how to play World of Warcraft. <clears throat> you do have to have a, a computer of some sort, a laptop or a desktop, to do this, because it streams games from your computer to your smart device, and... I'm going to be doing this on Android, but I'm sure it's on iOS too. The app is called Remoter, and you just want to install this, and it'll pop up when it's finished downloading. You just tap on it and sign up. I'm already signed up, see my laptop's right there. <clears throat> and uh, after you signed up, it'll tell you that you need to download the app on your laptop so let's go ahead and do that alright guys so now that you've downloaded and signed up for the remoter app on your phone you need to go to remoterapp.com you might have to google this because the first time I did it it just took me to some random website <laughs> so then you want to click on Remoter Streamer, Windows 7 or newer, and you're going to want to download this. I've already got it downloaded, and my laptop's about to run out of space, so I'm not going to download it again. But once you do that, go down here, Remoter, and it'll be right here, Remoter Streamer. You just click on that, and it'll say that it's running. So then... <clears throat> Initially, whenever you download the Remoter app, it'll start up and ask you to sign up or log in, but we've already made our account, so all we have to do is log in. Then once that's done, it'll run, and we go back to the phone. Alright guys, so now we have downloaded Remoter app onto our phone, and we have downloaded the desktop app. We've signed up, and we're all ready to go, so you... Log in on your phone, and it should search for your, your computer, and it's found mine, so you just go ahead and tap on your computer. Oh, I got it flipped the wrong way. And as you see, it detected that I have Borderlands 2 and League of Legends, but I just go to desktop for World of Warcraft. And, uh, you go down here to... No, my bad. You open up your Battle.net app, and you just click on play. And to set this up the way that I have, it's really simple. You just tap on the little magic wand, tap on the key thing, and then you can tap any button on here, and it will automatically make it a button that you can push. Then you click up here on the game controller, and you can make new interface names, but I've already made mine, so I'm not going to do that. And I'll just log on to my priest real quick, and I'll show you that it actually works. <laughs> there is an analog stick, but I didn't really like that because it was really, really, really buggy. Like, <clears throat> you'd push it, or you'd like drag it or whatever, to move forward. And the turning function was like the most sensitive thing I've ever used in my life. If you try to turn with the analog stick, you're just, you're spinning in circles. <laughs> and I, I have... The reason I have this the way I do is because I couldn't really fit more than six buttons without, like, stacking them up. So I just put them around my interface. And you, obviously you need shift for your top layer keys. And you need tab to target. And this button is to move forward, turning. And then I have one through six and shift one through six. That's and it all works. It. There's even sound, actually. <clears throat> it all works. It's all there. I even have a jump button. You just... For this, you set the button to the space bar, and then after... Oh, go away. You set it to the space bar, and then you move... You can move these wherever you want, and after you touch it, you can set it to one of these pictures, and... Yeah. So that is actually a problem that happens with this app that I'm glad happened. <clears throat> this app is kind of buggy. 
a lot of the times whenever I'm putting buttons on my layout, it likes to crash. And I'm not sure why, because my phone's not that bad. <laughs> it shouldn't be crashing, but it does. And you can just open this back up and it'll all go back to normal. You just go back to desktop and there it is again. The only thing besides that that I have to complain about about this app is this bar right here. Whenever I go to tap on someone, I can't see their nameplate because it's supposed to be right there. You can kind of see it behind the magic wand app. But it's I can't like click on them unless I open up this and then I can like see them but that's not really useful but yeah other than that I, this has been working great for me I don't I know anything better than that I haven't seen anything better than this actually everything has to be like a keyboard or something on all the other streaming PC apps and with this one I can tap multiple buttons at once and there's even sound and it's really good it keeps up with my PC perfectly if you look over here I can show you guys as soon as I tap the move button it moves on my computer too there's like a two millisecond delay yeah <clears throat> so this is my initial review and demonstration of the remoter app i really hope you guys enjoyed this and that uh, i hope it works for you and if it did please leave a like comment me something please tired of looking at blank comment spaces <laughs> all right guys i'll talk to you later see ya